definitely been a theme throughout my career, at least, uh, both military and civilian, working within the field of justice in some way. You know everybody got your back, just like in the military. It don't matter where you're from and everything, it's, it's like everybody got your back. I really believe that I'm serving a great purpose here, and TDCJ has given me the opportunity to do that. They do a lot of different stuff here, so it's never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. I was a, a M1A1 tank crewman. I was a sergeant, was my final rank, and my final position was a gunner. I'm a captain of the Texas National Guard. I'm a quartermaster officer. I'm a company commander of the headquarters support company. I was discharged as a lieutenant colonel, and I worked for the Army Nurse Corps. Uh, U.S. Army, I was 11 Charlie for about six years. At most, 32 of us, we were attached to an Iraqi battalion. I have a total of nine officers, and it's pretty much like an off-site uh, work camp. Uh, I have all trustees, pretty much nonviolent, and they all are supervised at all times. And it's all about learning, taking the initiative. Hey, you see something wrong, same thing as the military, you see something wrong, just fix it. I'm an attorney three assistant general counsel. I'm currently assigned to the contracts division of the general counsel's office. And right now during the legislative session, I'm just reviewing um, every bill that could affect the agency will come through our office. Uh, being in the National Guard and being uh, an attorney can be really hard. What do you do if you have trial Monday morning, but you have drill this weekend? Uh, you can't really adequately prepare for that. Um, coming to the TDCJ, uh, we're more of a, of a team. It's not so much individual, it's more of a team effort. So if I have to be gone for a few days for, or two weeks for AT, um, I have other attorneys here who cover down for that, likewise when they need to be out for something. Currently I oversee the Office of Professional Standards. And one lesson that I've learned is that build that leadership structure downward. Uh, I like to call it succession training as well because you look for leaders within your department. I like that and they do that here. And that's one of the reasons that I am in the position that I am in today. Parole is when somebody has committed an offense, went to prison, then they come up for parole, and then they come see me. All, all my guys are on GPS monitors. If I come in and look at their points and it's not where they need to be, I can assess interventions or I can request a warrant. You just have to be on it every single day, just like you are in the military. Veterans really need to look at TDCJ when they get out. The TDCJ treats its military uh, members very well, and the amount of the leave that they give, the support that they give, um, is unparalleled. And you just treat the people the way you want to be treated. And it's a professionalism on and off duty. And a lot of people base a lot of things on as far as how much you get paid a month, you know, benefits. And if you weigh that with what other competitors are giving you, you, you really can't beat what TDCJ offers. And uh, like I said, it's, it's never a dull moment. I, I never go home, you know, go home and go, wow, that was a boring day. Uh, my name is Donald Jenright, uh, sergeant that takes part in criminal justice. I have 18 and a half years in. My name is Steve Smeltzer. I'm currently assigned to the Office of the General Counsel. I'm an attorney three assistant general counsel. My name is Mara Walker. I'm the Chief of the Office of Professional Standards for TDCJ Health Services Division, and I have been working with TDCJ since August of 2005. My name is Ronald Kitterman. I'm a parole officer, too, for the Superintensive Supervision Program, and I've been in Austin on this case for about two years. 